Oh, well, thank you for that, Biley. Yes, thank you. <coughs> yep. Hello, fellow YouTubers. It's Sunday. July 15. Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, I know I need a haircut. Hello, fellow YouTubers. Oh, it's the same day. I just had a haircut. Can't you tell? Not bad, eh? Done it myself. Hmm. Well, it is another glorious day here today. It really is. Oh, this smoke. By these, it was cold last night, but got down to freezing here around midnight outside. And, uh, but, yeah, it's supposed to be more very cold nights, but that's okay. Like I said, I like the cold, but I don't like being cold. I'm sure you understand what I mean. Anyway, I'll give you a look at the clear blue sky. There's not a cloud in the sky. It hasn't been for the past few days. Yeah, look at that. As far as the eye can see. There's no good move the camera as fast as I like. And that uh, wouldn't make any difference. Yeah, yeah in the uh, in the sun it's well it's probably about 25 degrees, but here in, it's cool in the shade. Yeah, very cool in the shade. But all in all, as I said, it is an absolutely glorious day. Winter's day. Now uh, yeah, well that's enough of me without my cap on. I feel naked without my cap on. Uh, I um, I sent that video off to the companion company with the link to the video. So hopefully they'll uh, they'll get back to me in due course. Uh, they might end up thinking it's a storm in a teacup, but I I don't think it is. Anyhow, we'll see what happens. Oh. That's enough about uh, my haircut and the weather report. I'm out here sitting in the shade and there's a little bit of a breeze coming in from the northeast. Uh, and uh, it's quite cool. Now, I mentioned, uh, I've mentioned our dog Bailey. What's well, my wife's dog, but we call him our dog. Our dog Bailey, and he's a real barker. He Bark, bark, yap, yap, yap. And uh, we found something that works treat. I've, I've, you, maybe you've heard me say uh, time for the collar. Well, this is it. This is the collar. Pet safe. That's yeah, good. And what you do is you charge it. This is the, this is the box that comes in. And this is the little pressure pack unit of citronella. And you just simply charge the little cylinder in, built inside and uh, with citronella. And how it works is that it has a, a built-in microphone right there that goes against the dog's throat. Of course, you've got to put it up the right way. You've got to make sure the little nozzle there is up like that. And uh, when the dog barks, <coughs> <coughs> it must be empty. I'll fill it. <coughs> Did you see that? <coughs> yeah. Oh, I don't mind the smell of citronella at all, but dogs don't like it. And uh, if you if they wear it long enough, which ours hasn't, my wife doesn't put it on the dog all that often, except when he's driving us nuts. And as soon as you put it on him, he, he goes as quiet as a mouse. And it gets very annoying when a dog um, it's incessant barking. Oh, geez. See, there's people there's people working over the, the backyard here and uh, pulling down a, a, a garden shed. That sounds like wood. Anyhow, it, um, and he was barking, yap, yap, yapping his head off about an hour ago. Uh, he's since quietened down. Not with this one, but I better turn it off. But yes, 
the uh, the pet safe um, spray control dog collar. This is I can recommend it. I can highly recommend it. It's not cheap. Uh, here in Australia, it was um, close to hundred twenty dollars, I think, from Pet Barn. It's hundred twenty dollars Australian, so you can take off about a quarter. So it'd be about ninety dollars US, but it may even be cheaper. And I don't know uh, in pounds. It'd probably be uh, sixty pounds, something like that. But who knows? Who knows what it is overseas? Okay, put the cap back on. All right, well, I'll put that away. I don't know what the um, what the wood would be there, am I not? There's no wooden fence anymore. Oh, it is getting cool. Mm. Uh, it was that cold in my, my shed last night. I was virtually sitting on top of that heater. Yes. Clunk. But it was better than nothing. I've also sent a, uh, an email off to the uh, gas mate company to see if I can get a re little replacement uh, get burner with the uh, mesh dome on it for the uh, butane gas because it's a lot cheaper to run and virtually it's just as effective. I mean, I pay $70 for this unit. Well, the, it was the same cost I paid for the little gas mate unit and one 220 gram uh, butane gas cylinder uh, will last for about six or seven hours. Yeah, and they're only about a dollar twenty each, so that's only about uh, well, listen, what is it, fifteen cents an hour or something like that. Whereas this this one here on the uh, four kilo um, propane gas cylinder, that burns uh, I suppose about one hundred twenty grams an hour, but uh, which is roughly if I got it going for seven hours, but, uh, pretty close to a, a kilo of gas which is about, I get it for $14 from BCF as a discount card so that's about uh, $3.50 uh, it's dearer it's, um, well three times as dear and it doesn't, it's not three times better but I had to have something and I'm shattering on aren't I? Mm, yeah. uh, nothing unusual uh, no one uh, I think that's it. Clunk. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. And uh, until next time. Uh, uh, bye for now. And believe it, how blue the sky is. Totally clear. Not a cloud anywhere. It's unbelievable. Well, it's not really because this is the sort of weather we have during the winter. But it's been very dry. And it's going to continue to be dry, and uh, it's been dry way too long out in the bush. I know I'm going over ground that's already been well trod, but uh, it really is bad out in the bush. And not just here in New South Wales, but uh, other states and territories as well. All states and territories just about are in drought, They're certainly on the verge of drought. I know New South Wales is. It's the El Nino effect. Yeah, El Nino. No good. I hope we're not in for another 12 or 14 year drought like we had um, not too long ago. Mm, we have some big droughts here. Anyhow, that's it. Uh, hasta la vista. <laughs>